we're actually going to play back some tracks from the R1000. So this is a great example of um, if I am a tech and I want to come in on Monday night and practice mixing um, what happened on Sunday or even maybe during, the, during uh, that week's rehearsal and come in before Sunday uh, to do it, all the tracks that you're going to hear are from the R1000 and they're actually recorded um, live here in the sanctuary. And all of the control, one of the great things about the V mixing system is the way it integrates in terms of not only sharing audio but also control. So I'm actually going to engage the R1000, which is placed here under the desk, so I don't have to search under the desk and um, fish around with any buttons. All of the controls for the uh, R1000 are contained here. And on your mixers, you would just simply hold the shift button and hit the display button for the USB memory recorder here. Now you can see here on the screen, I have my R1000 transport controls ready to go. So I'm just going to engage this here and have a DCA set up. And again, this isn't a stereo track. These are all individual tracks that are coming in here. So I can mute different parts. So in this scenario, if we just wanted to work on the vocals, we now have the vocals here on um, fader 15 and fader 16. We could select those and then edit the EQ, edit the gate and the compression um, on their own. And I can do that as many times as I want. Now, if I wanted to loop a certain section, I could also do that as well. So again, into the display area. So now you can hear that it's looping as it goes. You could take, uh, maybe there's one musician that only plays in a certain section of the song. You could start uh, very easily uh, set an in point and an out point and, uh, and work on those channels. And as John mentioned, the channels coming back from the R1000 are identically patched to what's coming live off the stage at any one time. So as you adjust that channel, when that musician comes back in to play, you're actually going to be, uh, the adjustments that you made on the recording are of course going to affect what they play uh, when they play live as well.